Hi, welcome to another full self-driving video. Today we're on 10.1 and I'm on my way to a wedding. So I thought, might as well see how the Tesla can do to get me there on its own. So with that, let's find out. All right, here we go. Obviously beta has been turned on. Um, this turn up here is actually kind of sketch. I'm very nervous to do this. It's a blind turn from the left and the right. So I'll probably coach it through this. Um, not even humans can do this. I've lived here for 25 years. Very hard to make this turn. Uh, because it's kind of in the middle of the road here, it's creeping forward for visibility. Let's see how long it just creeps for before I will probably inevitably take over. We'll find out. Fuck, it's going. And it's clear. Kind of lucky, but it's clear. Got it. Um, the issue is with the traffic coming from our right. They uh, come from behind us, and that's what kind of makes it blind. I hit the brakes really hard there with that oncoming Toyota, um, but in a quickly recalibrated. Here we're gonna go over two speed bumps. I'm curious to see how, how, if, how, if the car detects the speed bumps. It does not. Oh, we go over them, it's calm, it's whatever. Went over them about 10 miles an hour over what the sign recommended. Again, here the sign says go 15, we're going 25. Just goes right over that speed bump. All the stuff in my trunk just making now solid noise. But it was comfortable from a driving perspective, I will admit. Now we're merging onto a highway. Well, not really a highway, but somewhat high speed rate road. So it's slowing down as soon as I saw the bicycle. And now it applies the acceleration again as we pass them. So right here we're gonna have a merge. I'm curious to see if the Tesla will accelerate. And it is accelerating around the Prius for the merge. Very happy to see that. So the guy in front of us is going really slow. If it was me, I'd probably be on his butt or go around him. But uh, he is going 35 and a 45. The Tesla is keeping its room because it's being safe and does what it's trained to do. So right up here, we're gonna have to turn left into the Montavo Estates. Let's see how well the car does to get now us over. Blinker is on. It's now slowing down and getting over. It's kind of staying in the middle of the road. The cars behind us are very annoyed. It's kind of jerky through here, but it made the turn. And we are into Montavo Estates. So if you're familiar with this area, a lot of Sharks, San Jose Sharks players and San Francisco 49er players and people like that like to reside in this neighborhood. Um, wouldn't be uncommon to find one maybe walking around here. Very beautiful area. So here's a stop sign. I'm gonna take over. And oh wait, there was no, that's interesting. That was my error. It's a single stop over there. That was very weird. I thought it was gonna be a four way. Human error. See, even humans make errors sometimes. I will include that because, you know, I will. I thought there was gonna be a stop sign behind the shrubbery, but it turned out just to be in a uh, street sign, not a uh, stop sign. So now we're gonna go into a one way. So I'm very interested to see how the car does. I'm gonna slow it down manually to a slower speed just because I don't think this road actually has a speed limit marked for it. 
Okay, it's being kind of jerky, but it's getting us into the one way. And here we are into the entrance. Kind of close to this curb for my comfort, but we're here. It does not detect the speed bumps, and these ones are pretty severe, so I'm gonna actually slow it down to 10, even though the speed limit says 15. Just because I want to absorb my shock, keep my shocks, you know, the way they are. Unfortunately, there was a sign that said 15, but the car did not self-correct, and it still shows to 25. In 500 feet, turn right. So there is a stop sign here, and it road. does detect the stop sign. And it detected the speed bump, I suppose, that time. And now it's detecting this speed bump. So I don't know why it's detecting this speed bump, but not other speed bumps. I'm gonna bring it back up to 15. It has its right turn blinker on, even though we're kind of curving to the left. Not sure what it's trying to do here. And there it goes, it makes the turn. How wonderful is that? Now look how beautiful these, this place is. People out here having some picnics. Our car's just driving itself. Might as well have a picnic in here and enjoy the day, am I right? Now we're gonna see some people here. See how the car reacts. They are moving over and the car was originally slowing down before they got out of the way. It saw the cones, makes the turn just really nice and perfect. It's doing a really good job getting us through here. Oh, here comes a golf cart and I disengaged just to be precautious or just be cautionary. Um, I apologize for that guys up, up there on YouTube. Oh, and here's our destination on the right. So thank you so much for tuning in to today's video and coming with me on my way to this wedding with 10.1. Um, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like it. If you dislike it, send it to someone you hate, you know? And uh, yeah, feel free to support us on Patreon and we'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.